come back into the scene playing a lot of PM and showing like specialty in a lot of different characters. I think we're gonna see his Ike first. He's using the Ike skin that yeah, I I, it's from some very obscure reference in a Fire Emblem game. It's like some character's armor, I'm not sure which. But let's see how that works out for him. Ike is going to have very strong platform control and juggle game like most sword characters do. And I think we'll be able to kill off the top and one stage where we can kill off the top usually, like Stadium 2 and Battlefield. But I haven't played that much PM Ike. Well, maybe maybe I know a little bit. Alright, uh, so let's see what he wants to go. It's just going to go Battlefield, pretty neutral. But due to, with the early aggressive teleports in, Shogun gets a jab into grab. A j I guess one of the better jabs in the game, just like he did in Brawl. Using quick draw to, to try to chase him as much as possible. Ike has very poor horizontal movement options, but that's nullified by quick draw having some of the most options in the game. You can like jab, wave dash, aerial, turn around. You can just pretty much do anything if you get the time to set it up. So you'll see a lot of him doing quick draw to continue combo strings and tech chase or to try to close the gap across the stage. Drew 2 getting some good pummels in and up throw, but that's not going to kill because Ike's still a very heavy character. Ike with a very nice drop down to the platform neutral air. It's one of the best ways that he can use his hitboxes to cover himself is with the platforms. But Drew 2 just kind of follows him around, gets a nice shadow claw at 150, and that'll be the kill. Shogun gets a nice wave land off back air, which is actually very strong in this game. Very nice quick draw recovery, seeing these two lower percent of, Oh, and that frame trap up smash, I believe. It's just kind of called that he would either sit on the platform or try to fall through it. Up smash covers both options. He goes for the patented U2 down tilts. Even the same from melee. Just trying to do that into wave dash and set up. Using his up B there just to try to get in, try to get some stage position, but Shogun is reading that and able to punish that a little bit more. The, up, the aggressive teleport is still a good option, but it's been nerfed heavily from 3.0. Nice back throw from Drew 2, but good DI from Shogun and an edge cancel on the battlefield platform. That was very nice. Very nice short hop back air pressure, but gets a little bit thirsty with the up smash. I don't even know if that would kill, but that's another option that you can do out of the quick draw. Just quick draw into up smash, hoping to catch Drew 2 off guard. He wasn't having any of it, and now he's in an edge guard position. He does a little DI mix up on the down throw. If he was DIing in and up like he should have been to try to live, um, he uh, was able to connect the Shadow Claw. Shogun comes in with a nice answer kill, and it's an even game, two stocks to two. <laughs> Nair and tries to connect with the jab, but Drew 2 is DIs away and is able to get out of that, and it gets a combo for himself from under the platforms. Unfortunate SD from Shogun. But he's attempting to get more pressure on Drew 2. I, I really am liking Shogun's platform play in this game. Nice quick draw follow up. Ooh. And see, that's one of the best things. Like, I can just use the platforms with his Nair and Up Smash and so many of his moves very well. This game isn't looking good for him, but I, but I like his idea. Oh, wow. The hard read F smash, read the cross up from Drew 2 and just gets one of the most disrespectful looking kill moves in the game. But the SD comes back to haunt him. And Drew 2 takes game one by a clean sock. Thank 
Uh, I'd, I'd like to see Shogun go back to some more heavily platform stages. Oh, and get a character switch. <laughs> Going for Samus. Who's also a uh, fairly... She's similar to her melee self, but she has her ice mechanics, which can change a lot. Uh, Samus is one of the still one of the best characters in the game at stuffing approaches. You just saw Shogun do some empty jumps into either a missile or a nair, which was able to stuff Drew to a little bit, but then once uh, Mewtwo was able to get in, he was able to jump very effectively. Uh, Mewtwo is actually able to reflect projectiles with his side B in this game, which is very useful in this matchup. He covers the ledge jump and covers that with an up smash, and that'll be a kill. Even on uh, Green Hill Zone's fairly high ceiling, Drew 2 with some solid edge guarding is able to close out his stock. I'm not sure how I feel about how I feel about this stage because uh, Samus does also do very well on platforms because of her missile game and her excellent wave lands. Right now, it seems like Shogun is uh, trying to do a little bit more of a PM style Samus, go for the flat the flat tech chases into his ice kill moves like up smash and forward air. There he, that works out for him and he's able to close out the next sock pretty easily. He switches back to fire for low percent so he can combo more easily. And now he's just trying to zone, zone out Drew 2 more, see if he can stuff some approaches and get some tech chases started. Samus doesn't have very many ways to deal with shields. In this and so you will see Shogun try to do a lot of late aerials and try to pin down or whittle down Mewtwo's shield so we can get some shield pokes but she is really not the greatest offensive character uh, there Shogun or another very interesting thing about Samus is uh, the way you can use conditioning with her her grab is one of the worst in the game, but because she has such other poor options on shield, you can condition people to shield a lot and then grab, and that's what Shogun did there. Up throw is going to kill. 140 is dead for almost any character, even one as heavy as time is, even on a stage like Green Hill Zone. Ooh, very nice reward. Reverse forward air hitbox. I didn't even know that existed. I like the Zair option. I always try to use Zair, but it's really difficult. Oh wow, Sam is using Up Smash because that is actually a move. It was one of the worst moves in Melee. They uh, helped it, buffed how it connects. Now it's a lot better. Uh, Drew 2 gets kind of caught with a bad teleport in. Shogun patiently, this empty jump gets a sweet spot in there. Weird spot dodge there from Shogun, but he didn't really get punished for it. Spot dodge isn't that powerful of an option against... I don't think spot dodge was a great option there because of um, how Drew 2 was positioning. He was coming down with an air. I would have liked to see an up B out of shield, which is a lot more stronger, a lot stronger defensive option, especially when someone's above you. Shogun with another unfortunate SD. Drew 2 goes off stage to try to get him to chase him and try to make as many trades as possible while you're ahead. Just give yourself any advantage you can going to the last stock. Shogun finds a nice uh, ice up smash. He's gonna be going down to last stock. Let's see what he can do. Drew 2 comes in with a mean invincible combo. Gets a nair into, I think an up air. A clean 60% combo. Shogun answers back, but Drew 2 is able to teleport out safely. Ooh, Shogun reads the option, but doesn't quite time the grab in time. A very greedy uh, charge F smash at the ledge, but no real punish from Shogun. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Actually, I think grab release would have been a good option there for Mewtwo, which is interesting. It, it would send him down at a kind of a semi-spike angle. I think he still would have gotten his jump, but... Uh, I, th I think he really should have tried to push the edge guard situation there. And that's just an opinion. I like seeing grab releases and new tech being experimented with. Oh. Bring the blitz, the, the crawl attack cross up into ice up smash Ned's choke on the second game. Very good game. Last stalk, last hit. 
All right, let's see where Drew Two wants to go for a counter. Pick. Obviously, I think the bigger stages are going to probably favor him, as Mewtwo is a lot harder to kill, and he has very solid kill options with edge guarding, up throw, and back throw. But uh, Shogun could just switch to another character. He has Samus, he has Ike, he has Mario. Uh, we don't know what else he has and what what stages he'd like to switch those for. Stadium 2, it's interesting. Um, Samus can still do her double auto-cancel missiles on this stage, but it's a little bit awkward. Some very nice jab cancels there from Shogun. You jab cancel with Samus by doing jab one and then pressing down to cancel the animation and make going you making you go back into a neutral position and then jabbing again. Uh, you can also do that by holding your control stick at a certain 45 degree angle doing jab then canceling it into more and more jabs just interesting Samus tech there very nice stuff Nair from Shogun stuffing the approach and a falling missile covers the spot dodge very weird uh, stance change there from Shogun and he really gave up an edge guard position and put himself in a worse one ledge jump for there Able to get Shogun some work. Catches Drew 2 out of a full jump and is able to get an air. And catches him with another ice forward air, but Drew 2 has, with some very solid DI, doesn't matter, gets the grab from the ledge, which covers quite a few options. And into the ice forward air. Switches back to fire for the next stock. He's going for ledge jump a lot, and while that is a lot stronger option in PM, it's I'd say it is a very strong option. I feel like Samus has a lot of mobility with her wave land on the stage, and missile on the stage would cover some hitboxes, so I wish he would maybe try to use those options to mix up his recoveries from the ledge a little bit more. I think Shogun had a read on what he wanted to do, but a well-timed spot dodge gets Drew 2 out of his string. Spot dodge from Shogun gets him kind of stuffs the grab from Drew 2, and now he's back in center stage. Very weird full and double jump from Shogun, but not very much of a punish. Nice falling there from Shogun, interrupting Drew 2's teleport shenanigans. Oh wow, very tip of the dash attack is able to combo Shogun a little bit more. Oh, he's... I, I don't like the dash dancing. Dash dancing to cover options feels like it's the best to do it many times, but uh, actuality it puts you in a little bit of lag before you're able to react. I think just standing with good positioning is usually the better choice, and Shogun wasn't able to correctly react to Drew 2 on the ledge there because... Uh, and was killed for it with a very nice up air off the top. But as I was explaining that... Shogun just comes up, evens the stock game, and going strong in this stock again to try to bring the game back to even. And he's done so. I, I really like the jab cancels there. Jab cancels into uh, F smash with, a bit, with its extended range, the fire F smash in this game. Very nice. Back air is using some of the... Melee Samus Waveland shenanigans. He uses the jab to... He uses the jab to just kind of check what Drew is doing in that situation. He sees Drew Two spot dodges, is able to punish with a grab, leads into a very solid ice up smash for the win. Shogun has a stock lead now. He's catching, kind of catching Drew 2 sleeping on his platform movement. Gets a very nice missile to grab to charge shot for a 70% combo, and he's in a commanding position to take this say, this set. Uh, Drew 2's, he's catching Drew 2 out of his full jumps a lot when he's approaching. Now he just has a very solid edge guard position. That'll be a kill. Stadium's low ceiling coming into play there. 
Drew Two is going to have to do some fantastic juggles because when he's going off stage, he can't really trade with Samus anymore at this percent, especially not in ice form. He's going to have to get some really good strengths. That up smash is not going to cut it. And a forward air is going to seal the set. Great games to Shogun and Drew Two. And congratulations for Shogun to advancing in uh, semis in the bracket or winner's finals. Winner's finals. Nice stuff to him, guaranteed in the money at this point. Alec versus the Shogun on stream. Winner's finals, best of five. Last call for Melee Doubles registration. Um, when is Melee Doubles going to start? 